mayong gabi e. Mayong gabi e, sa hitambong ka ron, sa atong tok, o labi na gyud ka tong naara sa ilang panimalay. Karong gabi una, ado na kita speaker nga mo talk about the history and the devotion of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Siya karon is presently the parochial baker at the National Shrine of the Virgin de la Regra Paris. He is also a part of the missionaries of the Sacred Heart of Jesus sa datin pa missionaries sa Cratisime Cordes. In Cebu, in Cebu District Commission on Mission and the Berhin de la Regra Safeguarding Committee. And formerly, he was the catechetical in charge at the Communication Foundation for Asia based in Santa Misa, Manila. He was also the National Vocation Director of the MSC in the Philippines and Assistant Formator at the MSC College Seminary in Banawa, Cebu City. Our speaker is from Karihatag, Malimono, Surigao del Norte. He was ordained priest in June 19, 2003, and he was recommended by Father Ephraim Arcega, former for MSC, former Paris priest of the National Shrine of Berhen de la Regla, who has now been assigned in the congregation main office in the house in Surigao. Please help me welcome Reverend Father Benido Bernides Tumol, MAC. Mayang gabi e eh, sa tanan, sa mga aniya sa simbahan, sa sulod o gana sila mga panimalay karon, mayang gabi e eh, kanatong tanan o welcome sa ato karong ginagmay. Uh, little history, the title and the meaning of the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Nya, nindot po kay ang okasyon, foundation ninyo sa inyong simbahan, ika 58 year na nga kasumaran sa pagkatukod sa parokya sa Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. So, mania tong hiskot-hisgutan niya. I hope nga I can contribute a little bit sa pagpasabot sa kahulugan ni ining maong devotion sa mahal nga birhen sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus. Nga kininga kadibosyon, dili kaayo familiar yun sa mga tao. Okay, this is not like other devotions to Mary, for example, Perpetual Help, Fatima, Lords. Unya, sa mga literature, walay available materials nga mapalit nato sa mga tindahan, sa mga Catholic bookstores, mahitungod sa devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. So, ang mga tao po, mangutana, unsa mana siya, unsa mana nga birhen, unsa mana nga kuana, so, most of the people wala yun ta nakahibaw. Bisa na nga mong mga parokya nga naami mga kapilya nga Our Lady of the Sacred Heart ang ilang patrona. Pangutan na po sila on sa may istorya anak pa der, on sa may kuan. So, I hope I can share a little bit, a little information, a little reflection about this devotion. So, next slide please. Ang devotion to the to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is always connected to the founder of the congregation. So let me begin with uh, with my sharing sa founder ng amin congregation, Missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Ang founder namin si Reverend Father Joel Chevalier, usa ka French diocesan priest. He he belong to the diocese of Bourges in France. And then he was ordained as diocesan and priest. But even during his seminary years, si Father Joel Chevalier, ato na na siya ka ng kitawag na to nga calling to, calling to become a disciple of the Sacred Heart. Next slide, please. 
So while Father Joel Sivalye was in the formation in the seminary, particularly in his theological studies, he identified two great evils. One, first evil is the religious indifferentism. If we return to the history of France by the time, ang Francia kusog kaayo ang influence sa indifferentism. Unya, we go back again to the history of France in the time, meron silang itang industrial revolution. Merong movement against the church. Merong anti-clericalism movement. So, ito yung nangyayari noon sa panahon niya. At ang kanyang province mismo, province of Berry, doon napakalakas ang tinatawag nating religious indifferentism. Walang paki, walang paki sa pananampalataya, walang paki alam sa relihiyon, walang paki alam sa kapakanan ng kanilang kaluluwa. Next evil is the so-called selfishness. So itong dalawang evils ang kanyang inidentify when he was still in the formation years. Religious indifferentism, selfishness or egoism. Yung pagiging makasarili. So ito yung kanyang inidentify nung panahon at pagkatapos nagnilay-nilay ang ang aming founder while he was in the seminary kung ano ba ang lunas ng mga tinatawag niyang evil in the world. Next slide please. Ang next slide ay nagsasabi na the solution to the evil in the world is found only in the heart of Jesus. Noong una, remember that before the birth of our founder, the devotion to the sacred heart beginning to become popular. Remember the apparition to St. Margaret Mary, Alakok. Remember also other saints, St. John Hughes, for example, then St. Bernard of Clairvaux, also promoting the devotion to the Sacred Heart. The, there was St. Mictelg also, the devotion, the Sacred Heart appeared also to St. Mictelg. So, ito yung mga, ito yung tinatawag nating mga preceding, preceding event in the history of the Church, maraming apparitions of the Sacred Heart. Then, Father Joel Chevalier, ang kanyang pagninilay ay nakikita niya na ang lunas ng lahat ng mga kasamaan sa mundong ito ay makikita lamang sa puso ni Jesus. At ang puso ni Jesus lamang ang lunas ng lahat ng mga kasamaan, kasakiman na naranasan ng mga tao sa mundo. Kaya, ang next slide please. While he was in his second year theology, he dreamed already of founding a missionary congregation bearing the name of the Sacred Heart. So habang naroon pa sa second year theology pa lang siya, nasa isip na niya, nasa puso na niya, na magtatag siya ng isang grupo ng mga misyonero na ang dadalhing pangalan ay Sacred Heart. Kaya, nasa permission pa lang, ito na yung isip niya. Then, in the second year, in, well, at the second year, he confided this plan, this dream, to his spiritual director. And his spiritual director discouraged him, Oh my God, nasa ikatang isip mo lang yan. Huwag ka nang mag-isip-isip ng ganyan. So he was discouraged actually by his spiritual director and also by the director of the formation. Ngunit, kahit man siya ay muhang diniscourage ng kanyang rector at saka spiritual director, Next slide, please. He founded the Knights of the Sacred Heart while studying at the major seminary of the Diocese of Bourges in France. So, abang nasa seminaryo, tinatag niya yung Knights of the Sacred Heart. At ang, ang purpose nitong Knights of the Sacred Heart, in the next slide, please, sinasabi na, a band of men ready to go out and fight for Jesus as priests. So ito yung anyang kanyang nasa isip na itinatag niya ang Knights of the Sacred Heart at yung mga sakop nito, a band of men, isang grupo ng mga kalalakihan na handang-handa makipaglaban para kay Jesus bilang mga pari. So sa seminaryo pa lang siya, may naisip na siya na a band of priests later on. 
Then the next one is, ang kanilang weapon, ang kanilang sandata ay ang banal na krus na may puso ni Jesus. So ito yung kanyang nasisipan at itinatag nila doon. At yung may mga kasama siyang mga seminarista, they group together, they meet together once, in, once every week to pray to the sacred heart of Jesus. Then the next slide, please. Pagkatapos ng kanyang pag-aaral, he was ordained in the Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Words. Then after three years, po, ang kanilang practice is kapag bagong pari, ikaw ay i-assign sa mga maliliit, malalayo, mahihirap na mga parokya at ikaw ay tutulong sa mga may sakit, mga matatanda ng mga kura paruko. Next slide please. After three years, he was assigned at Sincere Paris Isodon in France. So he was assigned there as assistant Paris priest. At nung na-assign siya doon, bumalik sa kanyang isipan yung lugar ng isudun na yun. Kasi habang nasa seminaryo pa siya, ang naiisip niya na pinakamalakas ng independentism and selfishness ay nariyan, naroon sa lugar na iyon yung isudun. At nung ma-assign siya doon, he was reflecting na ito na kaya ang katuparan ng kanyang pangarap noon na doon sa isang lugar na malakas ang indifferentism at saka selfishness ay doon dapat mag-uumpisa ang laban para kay Jesus. Next slide. Doon ay very strong ang indifferentism. Kaya nang dumating doon si Father Jules, ang mga tao ay wala pong magsisimba. Mas masahol pa kaysa pandemic. Kung sa pandemic, wala masyadong magsisimba. Noong panahon nila doon, ay mas mahigit o mas masahol pa sa tinatawag ng pandemya na walang magsisimba. At ang magsisimba lamang doon ay mga manang. Ang magsisimba lamang noon ay mga kababaihan. Wala pong mga kalalakihang magsisimba sa parokya ng sensir. Yung kanilang kura paroko, matanda na si Father Cruzat, ay wala po siyang magawa kundi magmimisa araw-araw kahit wala man pong magsisimba na marami o kahit man mga kababaihan lamang po ang magsisimba. Kaya doon bumalik ang naging sariwa sa isip ni Father Jules ang kanyang pangarap noon sa seminaryo. Pagkatapos, next slide please. So kaya doon sa lugar ng isodon, na malakas ang religious indifferentism at selfishness ay itinatag niya ang missionaries of the sacred heart. In, in realization of what he dreamed while he was in formation na kailangan na ang sagot ng lahat ng mga kasamaang ito ay makikita lamang po dyan sa banal na puso ni Jesus. At kailangan po na matatag ng mga isang, isang grupo ng mga kaparian na sila ay magdadala ng pangalan ng Sacred Heart at handang makipaglaban para kay Jesus, aalis sila o lalabas sila sa mundo, daladala ang krus at ang puso ni Jesus. At doon ang place na kanyang naisipan sa seminaryo pa ay ang Isodon. At kayo naroon siya sa Isodon. Kaya doon sa Isodon itinatag ang Missionaries of the Sacred Heart, December 8, 1854. Next slide. Ngayon, kailangan niya ng mag-discern kung ito nga po ba talaga ang kalooban ba ito ng Diyos yung aking ano yung aking naisipan na itatatag yung missionaries of the sacred heart kaya nung pumunta siya doon meron ding isang assistant parish priest ang kanyang classmate din doon sa seminaryo na sinatawag ni si Father Mojini na ang kanila ding pangalayunin ay parang magkaisa magkaisa sila ng layunin na kailangan talaga na ang puso ni Jesus ay kailangan du ipakalat doon ang kailangan na ang puso ni Jesus ay ipalaganap ang debusyon upang malunasan ang na nararanasan na indifferentism at ang egoism sa kanilang panahon. Nag-usap-usap tong dalawang assistant priests at pinaalam nila sa kanilang kura paroko 
At ang kura paroko naman ay natuwa sa plano ng dalawang mga assistants niya. At ang kura paroko ay nagsabi na, ako ay pupunta rin sa arsobispo at ipapaalam ko at sasabihin ko ang inyong mga plano. Ngunit they still need confirmation from above. Kaya sabi nila, magnonove na tayo sa mahal na birhen. Remember, noong panahon, naghahanda ang buong simbahan para iproclaim ang dogma of the Immaculate Conception on December 8, 1854. Kaya naisipan nila, noong November 30, they will have to say a novena. Magnonovena sila sa mahal na birhen at hingin nila sa mahal na ina na tulungan sila na maging matupad ang kanilang pangarap na magtatag ng isang kongregasyon. Kaya they started the first novena to the Blessed Mother. Next slide, please. At ang kanilang promise, nung sila ay nagnovena, sabi niya, the priests who become part of this small congregation will take the title Missionaries of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and will make every effort to fulfill the full significance of the title. Na kung ito man ay kalooban ng Diyos na maitatag itong congregation ito, ang lahat ng papasok ay tatawaging Missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Pangalawa, next slide please. Article 2. They will have a very special love and a very particular devotion for the adorable heart of Jesus. They will work with all their might to make their heart love this heart loved and glorified by priests and laity and to make reparation for the outrages against this heart. So ito yung kanilang pangako sa mahal na birhen, ha? yung pangako nila sa mahal na ina na kailangan lang special mahalin special especially ang puso ni Jesus at itong puso ni Jesus na ito ay kailang ipalaganap upang ito ay mahalin din ng mga tao, mga pari, mga lady, lahat ng mga tao to make reparation to the heart of Jesus. Then next slide please. In Article 3, ay sinasabi, ang pangatlong promise nila, in gratitude to Mary, they will consider her as their foundress and sovereign. They will all, they will ally themselves with her in all their works and make her loved in a special way. So ito yung promise nila nung nagnonobina sila. Ang pangatlong promise ay, in gratitude to Mary, Si Mary ay kilalanin nila na foundress, nagtatag ng Missionaries of the Sacred Heart. At siya ay ipapakilala nila sa mga tao in a very special way. Ayan, next slide. The first Marian miracle took place on December 8 in 1854. A Marian miracle that, does not, that did not happen somewhere, but it happened to their own lives. Nung nang humingi sila sa mahal na Birhen Maria ng, ng sign na ito nga ang balak nila ay kalooban ito ng Diyos. On the day mismo ng December 8, 1854, after nang sila ay mag-celebrate ng Misa, at on that day also is the proclamation, the solemn proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. After the Mass, merong isang tao na lumapit. So next slide please. So, merong isang taong pumasok doon at nagsabi na merong magbibigay ng 20,000 francs. Noong unang panahon, malakma malaking halaga na yun. At ang purpose is to start a missionary work. This is for to establish a missionary house to start a missionary work in Isodon. At naisip nila, wow, this is the work of the Blessed Mother. Di pagkatapos, di pumunta sila doon sa Archbishop. Ang unang obstacle ay ang Cardinal Archbishop Jacques Marie Antoine Celestine Dupont. Siya po ang unang nagiging obstacle. Hesitant siya to approve the, the desired establishment of the missionaries. Sabi niya, 
ako hindi naman ako talagang ayaw, talagang hadlang sa pagtatayo o pagtatatag ninyo ng isang grupo ng missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Ngunit, kapag iyan lang pera na yan, ay hindi po yan magkakasya. Ano bang ikabubuhay ninyo? Kailangan meron kayong maging sustainability of funds para kayo ay will continue to exist. At ang sabi ng Archbishop, how about going back to Mary and asking her again? So the next slide will tell us the do again another novena to our lady of didi pa sacred heart to our lady pagkatapos di ended the novena on january 28 1855 and another miracle took place the next slide in the novena in the novena father joel civalli told mary this is your cause this is yours it is up to you to make it succeed. Take things in your hands and prove that you are really the foundress of this work. They started the second novena and entered into a contract with the Blessed Virgin, whom they promised to make love in a special way. Then the next slide will tell us the second Marian miracle in their lives took place. An anonymous donor pledged to support 1,000 francs every year. So, nung una, no, bina sila sa mahal na Birhen Maria, merong pumunta, may nagbibigay sa kanila pang umpisa. Sabi ng Arsobispo, kailangan merong sustainability. Dasal sila uli kay Mama Mary. Pagkatapos, after ng novena, merong lumapit na merong anonymous donor magbibigay ng 1,000 every year. So, punta sila doon sa Arsobispo again. The next slide will tell us pinunta nila kaagad yung Cardinal Archbishop. Pagkatapos ibinalita nila at yung Archbishop ay natuwa naman. Ay, sabi niya, wow! Talagang ang mahal na Birhen Maria ay talagang kumikilos. Kaya the Archbishop presented the case of the missionaries to the Diocesan Council three times but the council turned it down also three times. So, the next slide Please, they run again to the Blessed Mother. They run again, once again to the Blessed Mother. After the obstacle, yeah, that one, that one. They run again to the Blessed Mother. Na nanalangi na naman sila sa mahal na ina. Kumihingi na naman sila ng tulong ng mahal na birhen. At the miracle happened again. The next slide will tell us what kind of miracle. The Cardinal Archbishop Dupont stood his ground he stood his ground and the next slide please cardinal dupont cardinal dupont said to his diocesan council sinabi niya sa kanyang diocesan council who turned down the proposal three times sabi ng cardinal i promised these two priests that should they bring me a new sign of the will of god by finding resources I would approve their project. This they have done. And so I am bound. I authorize the two curates of Isodon to get together and begin their work. So let us name the replacements. That was the word of the Archbishop to the council. Then the next slide. Next slide, please. On September... Uh, next slide, please. Yung, no, after the Cardinal Dupont. Yeah, that one. September 9, 1855, Sunday. On the feast of the holy name of Mary, the missionaries were installed by the cardinal himself. Then, they took the name Missionaries of the Sacred Heart with their motto, May the Sacred Heart of Jesus be everywhere loved forever. Then the next one, After they were installed as missionaries of the Sacred Heart, they, think, they thought of how to honor Mary in a special way. Because they remember their promise na nagparami sila kay Mama Mary na kapag ito ay kalooban ng Diyos at kapag ito ay mangyayari, we will honor you in a special way. So they were thinking now, how to honor Mary? What title, what new title should she be given? 
what new distinction could be accorded her that she had not already received. Marami naman mga Marian titles ng mga panahon. Noong una, nandidyan na yung uh, Birhen Medalla Milagrosa in 1830. Mer nandyan na yung Birhen sa Guadalupe. Dyan. Marami ng mga, maraming mga title na ni Mary. Pero they were thinking of a special title kung anong title ang ibibigay nila kay Mama Mary, anong distinction ang kanilang ibibigay sa kanya to honor her because ang kanilang plano ay iniisip talaga ng aming founder na ang, pag, ang pagsilang o ang pagkatatag ng missionaries of the Sacred Heart is the work of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kaya sabi nila, ikaw ang aming foundress. Next slide please. Next one. Okay. That very day, on September 9, 1855, as an expression of love and gratitude, they conceived the name of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. On that day, where they were installed as missionaries of the Sacred Heart, they also conceived, no, they also conceived, they shared, no, they shared the concept that the name, the title, to be given to Our Lady is Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Actually, in this, before this day, Father Joel Shivali was already thinking of what title, and he was, he, he came into this title, but he did not tell his companion. He did not tell his companion, Father Mojini. And only in the time that they were installed by the, by the Archbishop that he told Father Mojini, that this is the title, this is the name that we will give Mary, our Lady of the Sacred Heart, as an expression of the deep gratitude. So take note that the name, our Lady of the Sacred Heart, is an expression of deep gratitude to Mary. Wala man siyang miracle na yung parang katulad sa Lourdes, o katulad sa Fatima, o katulad sa Guadalupe, o katulad ng Miraculous Medal, but this title is born out of the personal miracle that Mary performed. And this is an expression of deep gratitude to Mary. The title, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. The next slide, please. So the spirit behind the title of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is gratitude. So let us not forget to be grateful. According to Father Founder, let us always be grateful to Mary because that Mary intercede and every time and obtain the grace we need every time. That is why the MSC is born. The MSC congregation is given birth because Mary gave birth to the missionaries of the Sacred Heart. So gratitude. Pagkatapos, the next slide would say, Father Joel Chevalier, in his personal journal, he said, Our Lady has done everything in our congregation. So, iniisip ng aming founder, lahat ng nangyayari sa kongregasyon ay gawa ng mahal na birhen. Kaya sa amin, sa MSC, sa yung foundress, Our Lady, anong pangalan? Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. The next slide would tell us, The title, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, is born out of a prayerful reflection on Scripture of the role of the Blessed Virgin Mother. So, ang title na Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, sa sinasabi ko, there was no miracle, there was no public miracle that took place somewhere unlike other devotion to the Blessed Mother. Ang title na ito ay isinilang dahil sa pagninilay sa mga nakasulat sa banal na kasulatan. Ang title na ito ay dahil sa isang pusong lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mahal na ina. Kaya the, blessed, the, the founder reflected on the Bible, reflected on the texts of the scripture na nandoon si Maria reflected on the mysteries of salvation and relationship with Mary. So the next slide will tell us, next slide please. Sabi ng founder namin, 
Do not forget that it was through Mary that Jesus was given to us. God will that He draw His light from the most pure heart of the Virgin Mary. She is still the channel through which graces come to us. Sabi niya, huwag nating kalimutan na ang mahal na ina ang siyang nagbigay kay Jesus ng puso. Huwag nating kalimutan na ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, kahit man siya ay bagamat man siya ay Diyos, siya ay nagpasya na maging isilang sa bilang tao at doon siya kay Maria kumuha ng kanyang puso, kumuha ng kanyang laman, kumuha ng kanyang pagkatao. Kaya sabi ng, ng founder, si Mary is the channel of graces to come to us. Next one please. It is, uh, it is through her, in union with her, that we must go to the heart of Jesus. Sabi ng founder na, sa pamamagitan ni Maria, kasama ni Maria, tayo ay lalapit o pupunta tayo sa puso ni Jesus. The next one, the next slide please. Mary was destined to give the heart of Jesus to the world. Sabi ng founder na, Si Maria is destined to give the heart of Jesus to the world. Then the next slide would tell us, In the mystery of visitation, Mary is the first apostle of the word incarnate, the first missionary of the sacred heart. Kaya kung titingnan natin, ang pagninilay ng founder namin is, si Maria ang siyang kauna-unahang disciple of the sacred heart kauna-unahang missionary of the heart of Jesus to the world kaya in the visitation she went to the house of Elizabeth and Sikaraya to bring this Jesus to bring the heart of Jesus to the family of Sikaraya and share this heart share the joys of the heart of God to the family so remember Si Mary is the first missionary of the Sacred Heart. Bago pa man may mga pinapakitaan ng Panginoon, ang mahal na ina, ang siyang una, ang pinakaunang misyonero ng banal na puso ni Jesus. So the next slide would tell us, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart means, One, ito palang title na Our Lady of the Sacred Heart ay nangangahulugan na si Maria ay pinili ng puso ng Diyos. It is the heart of God choosing Mary to be the mother of the only begotten Son. Pangalawa, ang title na Our Lady of the Sacred Heart ay nangangahulugan na si Maria bilang ina. Bilang ina, hindi lang ina ng Panginoon, kundi ina nating lahat. Ang kanyang desire is to bring us all to the heart of Jesus, her son. So, ang kanyang, ang kanyang desire of her heart is to bring all of us to the heart of Jesus. Kaya ang Our Lady of the Sacred Heart means Mary is the one bringing us closer to the heart of Jesus. At ang ikpangatlo ay sinasabi, ang Our Lady of the Sacred Heart na title, ay nangangahulugan na si Maria ay naging nakibahagi sa eternal glory of Jesus. At ito din, our Lady of the Sacred Heart ay nangangahulugan sa kanyang powerful influence in the heart of her son. Hindi siya ang magdidikta, kundi ang ina ay influential in the heart of her son. Tingnan natin, for example, in John chapter 2, Nung nasa kasal ng Kaina, eh, si Maria is very influential to the heart of Jesus. Hindi man sa nagdi-dictate kay, kay Jesus, she was just informing Jesus that there was no more wine. But, si Jesus, ang influence of a mother cannot be denied. So, kahit hindi pa time ni Jesus na maghimala, kahit hindi pa time na mag-miracle siya, anong sabi niya? Okay po noenin nyo ito ng tubig. Dalhin nyo doon. Jesus performed His first miracle even if it was not time yet for Him to perform miracles because of the influence of a mother. 
Mary was not dictating Jesus, but Mary was so influential in the heart of Jesus that her son, her son cannot deny the presence, the influence of a mother. So, the next slide will tell us, Father Shivali was contemplating on how to illustrate the relation between Jesus and Mary to bring out Jesus' goodwill towards his mother. Ipapakita niyo kung paano ba yung ipapakita na the goodwill of Jesus to his mother and the power of the mother's influence over the heart of her son. Paano ba ipapakita to? Kasi sa karanasan ni Father Chevalier na Mary was so influential in the heart of her son. So ngayon, paano niya ipapakita? So the first image of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is this. Next slide please. First, he took a well-known image of Mary Immaculate, standing with her hands extended to the world towards the earth, signifying that she makes grace reign upon the earth. Remember that this image is very familiar because in 1830, remember Saint Catherine Labori, nagpapakita sa kanya ang mahal na ina, no, yung Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Nung isinilang si Father Jules, nung lumaki siya, very popular itong image na ito. Kaya, what he did, he took this image. Pagkatapos, the next slide please will tell us. Next slide. Okay. In front of this statue, yung miraculous medal, in front of this statue, he placed the figure of Jesus around 12 year old, indicating his heart with his left hand and pointing to his mother with his right hand as if to say it is through my mama it is through mom that the treasures of my heart are poured out on earth so ito yung, ito yung illustration ni Father Joel Sibalye na the influence of a mother to Jesus and the, the privilege that Jesus has given to the mother Illustrating in this way. So Mary is like doing like that, raining the graces to the earth. Pagkatapos, Jesus is standing there in front of her, holding or pointing his heart with his left hand and the right hand pointing to Mother Mary. Is it, as Father, Father Shibali interpreted that, it means that Jesus is telling to us, it is true, my mother, that the treasures of my heart are poured out to you. So, ibig sabihin na gusto niyang humingi, punta kayo kay mama. Kaya nung una, even until now ha, we use this. From the beginning of the Miraculous Medal, we use this time, we also use continually this time. Yung sinasabi na, Adyesum per Mariam. To Jesus through Mary. Ito yung madalas nating sinasabi, especially if you are familiar with the COM. The children of Mary, ito yung motto nila, to Jesus through Mary. So ito yung understanding ni Father Chevalier. So ito yung first image of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. The next slide, please. The title, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, sabi ni Father Jose, answered perfectly the aspirations of the missionaries. It testified their gratitude to Mary and demonstrated Mary's position in relation to the heart of her son, it pointed not only to her power of intercession, but also to her privilege as treasurer and dispenser of its gifts of grace. It foretold also her wonderful cooperation in the establishment and spreading of devotion to the sacred heart. Take note. It also foretold her wonderful cooperation in the establishment and spreading of the devotion to the Sacred Heart, which is to contribute so forcibly to the salvation of humankind. It was then like a flash of light. It was the response of Mary to the wish of her children. So ito yung sinasabi niya tungkol sa Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. The next slide, please. So the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is spread so fast. Kay, in the time, sabi ko kanina na 
there was great indifferentism, religious indifferentism. Yung mga tao walang pakialam, wala nang nagsisimba, maliban sa mga manang. But the devotion to our Lady of the Sacred Heart is spread so fast and this reinvigorate the spirituality of the laity. The next slide, please. Kaya, nung, nung inumpisahan yung devotion ng Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, parang there was a miracle that taking place in the lay people na yung kanilang spirituality ay muling nabuhay. Kaya umpisang dumami ang mga tao, nagbalik sila sa simbahan, nagsisimba, hindi lang mga kababaihan by this time, kundi pati mga kalalakihan ay nagsisimba. Unti-unti na silang bumalik sa parokya, unti-unti na silang naging aktibo at nakilahok sa kanilang gawaing spiritual. Kaya noong January 29, 1864, the rules of the confraternity written by Father Shivali was approved by the Archbishop of Words. Sa umpisa ng congregation, pinopromote yung Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, ang resulta. It was like a miracle that people flocking back to the church. They were reactivated in their spirituality. Kaya, 10 years after, 1854 to 1864, kailangang isulat ni Father Shivali ang rules of the confraternity and this was approved by the Archbishop. Then the next slide please. The confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart was solemnly proclaimed by the Archbishop of Bourges, Cardinal de la Torre of Bern, on April 6, 1864 at the Church of the Sacred Heart and the Archbishop himself was listed as the first member of the confraternity. That was in 1864, 10 years after the foundation of the congregation. That was how fast the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart spread throughout France. Then later on, and the next slide please, the general end of the confraternity. So ito yung general end ng ating confraternity of the Sac Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. First, to thank God. So, una is gratitude. Diba sabi kanina, the foundation, the, the, the title of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is born out of deep gratitude. So, ang unang-una na general rule, general end ng confraternity is to thank God for having chosen Mary from among all creatures to form the, from her most pure substance, the adorable heart of Jesus. Second thing, to honor in particular the sentiments of love, obedience, and respect that Jesus has nurtured in His heart for His Most Holy Mother. So kapag confraternity, ang pangalawang ano nito, pangalawang purpose is igalang ang sentiments of love, ang obedience ng Panginoon, ang kanyang paggalang ng Panginoon kay Mother Mary. So that is the second purpose of the confraternity. The third is, next slide please, the third purpose of the, uh, of the confraternity. To recognize and to glorify by a special title which summarizes all other titles. The unlimited power of, over his heart that Jesus has given her. The mother has been made all-powerful by an all-powerful son, according to St. Bernard of Plervo. Na, ang ina ay ginawang ma ng kanyang anak na makapangyarihan. So, the, ang ibig sabihin na, the influence to, to recognize in Mary, to recognize the, the influence of Mother Mary, the unlimited power of Mary to the heart of, his, of her son. Not only in intercession, but the relationship, the, the relationship between Jesus and the mother, the relationship of love. And that love, Jesus cherished that. That Jesus was obedient to Mary because Mary's influence over her son, Jesus cannot deny. That is why nung kahit si Jesus ay nagpaiwan sa temple, sabi ng mahal na ina, bakit mo kinawa ito? Sabi naman ni Jesus, Hindi ba alam, dapat narito ako sa bahay ng aking ama. 
Ngunit after that, anong nangyari? Umuwi si Jesus at naging masunurin sa kanyang ina. So ito yun, the influence of the mother to the heart of her son. Of her son. The next slide, please. To entreat. Oh, hilingin sa mal na Birhen Maria to help to lead us to the sacred heart. So the purpose, the fourth purpose of the confraternity is to ask Mother Mary, bring us closer to Jesus, to the sacred heart. So ito pala yung fourth purpose ng ating confraternity of the sacred heart. So the next slide, the next slide please. Number five, to repair with her and through her the flagrant insults he received and to console him in his bitter sadness by a holy and edifying light. Sabi ni Father Jules, to repair, kung baga, to make penance, to make repentance in behalf of the people who sinned against the heart of Jesus with Mary, through Mary, kasama ang mahal natin na ina ay ating bayaran, yung bang tinatawag reparation of sins, and that reparation is not only prayer, but by a holy and edifying light. Yun bang mamuhay tayo ng isang banal at kaaya-ayang buhay, kalugod-lugod na buhay sa harap ng Panginoon. So kapag tayo ay member ng confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, ang purpose pala nito is mamuhay tayo ng banal na buhay at yung ating buhay ay maging kaaya-aya para sa Panginoon upang itong parang reparation of sins to pay for the sins of the world. In fact, the, the devotion to the Sacred Heart is the devotion to reparation. Reparation of the, of the sins that the world is committing against the heart of Jesus. Next slide, please. But the special purpose, the special end of the association is to entrust to Mary, our Lady of the Sacred Heart, the success of all difficult and hopeless cases both in temporal and spiritual matters. Kaya tinatawag natin siya na Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Hope of the Hopeless, ang kanyang title. To, to entrust into the hands of Mary, the hopeless cases. Kasi alam, ang, ang, ang reflection ni Father Jules, Mary, kapag si Maria ang mag-take in charge. If Mary will take charge, Jesus Maluoy gayod ang kasing-kasing ni Jesus mutanaw sa iyang inahan. So naaka lang gito nga the love communicates to love, heart communicates to heart. Mary's heart communicate to Jesus' heart. Dili gayod makaako ang anak sa pagbalibad sa iyang inahan. Next slide please. So, to entrust, to recommend to Mary, sino bang particular i-recommend? Ang mga idolaters, mga unbelievers, people in heresy or schisms, the triumph of the Holy Church, the downfall of its enemies, the sinners, the dying whose salvation is in danger, the strongest and the most persistent temptations, the most hurtful trials, the most urgent needs like pandemic, like COVID-19, the most pressing dangers like this our experience today and the most serious diseases and other things hopeless cases sabi ni sabi ng founder let us entrust to mary kasi si mary ang pinakamalapit sa puso ni jesus walang iba kundi ang kanyang ina at ang ina ay mangungusap puso to puso Ang kanyang puso ay mangungusap sa puso ni Jesus. At ang puso ni Jesus ay hindi niya kakayanin na hindi tutugunin ang kanyang ina na nangungusap pag-ibig sa pag-ibig, puso sa puso. Next slide please. Ito. Kaya sabi ni Father Joel Sivalye, He saw the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. As a powerful means to bring people to the devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. So, ang devotion sa mahal na ina ng banal na puso ni Jesus is a devotion to the sacred heart. Sinong leader natin na nag-devotion sa mahal na puso? 
ang mahal na ina. Kaya our lady of the sacred heart, ibig sabihin, ang debosyong ito ay hindi mananatili kay Maria, kundi ito ang debosyon na ito, sasamahan tayo ng ating ina na tayo ay mapalapit doon sa puso ni Jesus. Kaya ang devotion to our Lady of the Sacred Heart is a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus Himself. Kaya iba ang kakaiba yung title, ha? Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Kakaiba kapag sabi natin, Our Lady of Fatima. Si Maria yun. Sa atin, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart ang patutunguhan kasama ang Our Lady. So, kapag meron tayong devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, dapat may devotion tayo sa Sacred Heart of Jesus. Kasi yung devotion na ito is a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus led by Mary, modeled by Mary, inspired by Mary. Dahil si Mary ang first na nag at naging misyonero ng puso ni Jesus. Next slide please. Kaya ang confraternity, nag-spread naman ito sa um, dumami ng dumami, hindi lamang sa France. Kaya nag-petition sila sa Roma na gawin itong Arts Confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Dahil naging international organization. Tapos, next slide please. Sabi ni Father Joel Chevalier na nakikita niya na kailangan meron tayong publication. Dahil... Dumami ng dumami ang ating mga members outside France. So, kailangan may connection tayo sa isa't isa. Kaya, next slide please. Nagkakaroon ng publication. At sabi niya, sino ba mag i charge nito? Wala namang magaling sa atin about publication. Our Lady again answered the need. In 1865, si Father Joey entered the MSC congregation And in 1866, lumabas ang unang, ang unang tawag nitong issue of the Annals of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Next one. Okay. Next slide, please. So, Annals of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Ito yung publication about the devotion to, the, to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Next slide, please. Sabi pa nga ni Father Pipiron, na dahil sa debosyon ng mahal na birheng sa mahal na puso ni Jesus, noong una, maliit lang yung kanyang altar doon sa Isodon, France. Maliit lang. Ang mga tao ay siksikan papunta doon dahil marami nga siyang naging himala na maraming mga miracles ang Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Kaya mga tao pumupunta doon at nagsiksikan sila sa isang maliit lamang na simbahan at maliit na altar ni Maria. Next slide, please. Ang mga tao ay pumupunta dahil di experience the miracle of Mary in the title Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. So like other Marian, uh, Marian shrines, The, all, the people also went there with their offerings to the Blessed Mother. They offered silver, gold, and other jewelries. Next slide, please. So, kailangan ng malaking simbahan. Kailangan ng malaking statue ng Blessed Mother. Kaya nagpagawa sila ng malaking simbahan at malaking statue. Pagkatapos, next slide, please. On January 1869, ay pumunta si Father Joel Chevalier at nakipagkita kay Pope Pius IX at pinabless niya yung crown of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart at saka para kay Baby Jesus. Next slide, please. The Pope wrote a letter to the Archbishop of Words delegating him to crown the image of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in his behalf. In the next slide, please. September 8, 1869, the crowning of the image of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart at Isodon Basilica by the Archbishop of Words. Next slide, please. According to the homilies of the time, the coronation, he said, Honor to you, noble inhabitants of Isodon, you who have cooperated so faithfully with the unique grace given to you by the Queen of Heaven, who chose your city as the center and birthplace of a devotion to which perhaps the very salvation of the world is attached, the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart 
which today reaches to the five continents of the world. Next slide, please. In April 1895, a decree from Rome ordered that in future statutes, Mary was to have a child Jesus in her arms, except those, except the one in Basilica of Isodon. So, kaya nagkakaroon ng another image. Ito na yung image. Ito na para sa inyo. Kasi noong nakaraang 1895, may decree from Rome na ang succeeding images of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Mary should have a baby Jesus in her arm. So, except yung unang image, yung si Jesus ay nakatayo sa harap ni Mary, iyan ay panatilihin sa Basilica of Isodon. Pero dito sa susunod na mga images, ito na ang image ng mahal na ina, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Ito rin. Next slide, please. Okay, next pa. Okay, yan. Another, another image. Next slide. That one. Next one. Yan ay Filipina, Filipinized image ng Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Nung inikot namin to sa buong Pilipinas, napakaitim niya. Pagkatapos yung mga tao sabi, anong birhin niya? Wala nakakakilala. Dahil ang kilala natin, usually, we like this image of Mary. Pero kapag Pilipinay, sabi na, ay, itim naman. <laughs> Yun bang ano na, the Filipina version ng, ng image of Our Lady. Next slide, please. So, the memorary of the Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, sa confraternity, meron na kayong kopya, di ba? Alam nyo to. Yung memorari to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Ito yung kanyang official prayer na ginagamit ng congregation ng MSC. At hindi lang MSC ang gumagamit, ginagamit din to ng mga madre ng Hospitalier Sisters of the Sacred Heart. Dahil ang kanilang founder, nung buhay pang founder nila at buhay pang founder namin, magkaibigan silang dalawa, kaya ginamit ng kanilang founder ang prayer ng Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, yung memorari. It goes like this way. Remember, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, the great things the Lord has done for you. He chose you for His mother. He wanted you close to His cross. Next slide. He gives you a share in His glory. He listens to your prayer. Offer Him our prayers of praise and thanksgiving. Present our petitions to Him. Then, a little pause. You can mention your personal petitions or your communal petitions After that, next slide please. Let us live like you in the love of your Son, that His kingdom may come. Lead all people to the source of living water that flows from His heart, spreading over the world. Hope and salvation, justice and peace. See our trust in you. Answer our prayer. Show yourself always our mother. Amen. So, iyon yung official prayer ng ginagamit sa memorari to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Maraming prayers ng to the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, pero sa congregation, sa Daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, sa Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart, ito yung ginagamit na prayer. Okay? Uh, next slide, please. Then, ito yung mga shrines, mga, mga ilan-ilan lamang ipapakita. Shrine of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Isodon, yung beginning doon, yung Basilica of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Ito yung in, next one is the interior. A Mary at the foot of the cross in Isodon. Then the next slide, please. This is Shrine of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Randwick, Australia. Ito yung ano doon, meron isang Shrine of Our Lady. Then next slide, please. In Mexico, there are around 600 parishes named after Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Because... In Mexico, they experienced a lot of healing because of this Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. There was one Dominican sister who after returning to, his, to her hometown, she went to the parish of St. Joseph where she belonged and asked the parish priest to hang that cloth image of the Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. And then the parish priest said, Okay, kabit mo doon banda sa entrance. Then... 
Right on that day, there was a crippled boy who was praying to that Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. And on that day, there was a miracle that happened. According to testimonies, the boy left his crutches and went home, walking, completely healed. So, because of this daghang milagro nga nasinati nila, invoking the name Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Mexico, Many parishes were named after Our Lady of the Sacred Heart and in other parts of the world. Next slide, please. So, Father Peteron said, In the beginning daw ng congregation namin, it was only a, very slowly, it was only after the erection of the Arts Confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in 1864, that is to say, 10 years after its first seed, that the community saw its members increase. So, ang sinasabi niya na, nung una, nung hindi pa ito na itatag ang confraternity ng Our Lady, bagal ng nag nagpari na mag-imisi. Dalawa lang sila. May isang pumasok, pangatlo. Bagal. Pero nang itinayo itong confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, biglang dumami ang pumasok na maging pari at maging brother sa missionaries of the Sacred Heart. So that is again another miracle. And one MSA, another slide please, the next slide. One MSA said, Father Bovin Mars, if the confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart brought the congregation to life, that means that the congregation owes its development to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart and to the laity, for the confraternity is mainly an organization of the lay people. So ito yung sinasabi na, ang kongregasyon ay isinilang dahil kay Mama Mary. Pagkatapos, yung Mary na iyon, na nagsilang, nagluwal ng MSC, pinangalan ng Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Nang itinatag ang confraternity of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, sa yung tumawag ng mga magiging paring MSC, magiging brother MSC. Kaya sabi ni Bobin Mars, utang natin sa mahal na ina, utang natin sa confraternity, utang natin sa mga laiko ang ating pagiging isang kongregasyon na hanggang ngayon ay patuloy na naglilingkod sa simbahan in 54 countries. So, the existence of the MSC congregations I the ongoing miracle of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Next slide, please. Kaya nung October 18, 1908, oh, I, I'll connect with the Philippine, Philippine Mission. October 18, 1908, ang first eight Dutch MSCs Umalis sa Tilburg, Netherlands for Surigao. Next one. On November 25, next one, next. Uh, November 25, 1908, they arrived in Manila and stay for a while at San Carlos Seminary. So more than one month travel from Netherlands. Then the next slide. December 3, 1908. They sailed to Cebu, here in Cebu, via boat Fernando Hermanos. Then, next one, on December 8, 1908, they arrived in Cebu and received their jurisdiction paper through Monsignor Singson, Vicar General, because Bishop Hendrick was on his way to Rome. Next slide. December 12, 1908, they arrived in Surigao. Next one. In 1916, Father Henry Peters came from Surigao to Cebu to survey the possibility of accepting some parishes in the Camotes Islands. Then, next slide. In 1927, the Redemptorist Fathers, who since 1906 had been in open offered the parish and St. Alfonso's School to Father Adrian Moskens and proposed to the Archbishop Gorordo, the successor of Monsignor Thomas Hendrick and the first Filipino Bishop of Cebu, to hand it over to the MSC. Kaya, next slide please. 
In 1929, Opon was accepted by the MEC. Next one. 1937, Cordoba was accepted. Next one. 1951, Camotes Island was accepted. Then the next one is Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Iscario. Noon, Capitol, mantawag nila ani. Sige. Next, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Iscario, Cebu City, established August 22, tama? Tama ba? August 22 ang inyong foundation, correct? 1963. Then, pagkatapos, next slide, ang mga MSC priests na na-assign sa Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Paris Capitol, in May 1964 to January 1967, Father Van Eugen Van Vogt, MSC. Maybe some of you have known this. Yung mga, mga meron pang naiiwan noong panahon ng founding, founding nitong pre, ng parokya. Isa yung founder ng parokya at sa yung unang Paris priest dito. Next one, May 1960, uh, sige, next one. In June 1966 to July 1967, Antonius Boden, MSC, became the Paris priest. Then, Louis Boren, some of you mentioned kanina, Louis Boren, MSC, 1967 to 1975. He was the Paris priest here. Then, followed by Rodolfus Van S, MSC. Uh, he was uh, the parochial vicar, rather. He's the parochial vicar at this time of Father Boren. Next one. In September 1970 to 1971, Han... Henry Van Engelen, MSC, the procurator, was also assigned here. Then, Venancio Portillo, a Filipino MSC, assigned also here as Paris priest. Then, again, Lois Boren, MSC, assigned again as Paris priest here. Then, the next one, Cosme Tripoli, MSC, was also assigned as Paris priest. Marcito Macainan, MSC, was assigned also as parochial vicar by the time. Then he also later became the parish priest. Then Oscar Tabuhara, MSC, was the parochial vicar here in this parish. And after 1979, after Father Makainan, we turned this over to the diocese for the diocese to take care. So that's the next one. It's, that's the end of the presentation. So a little, a little history lang ng MSC to en entering Philippines, then so Cebu. So... Yan yung uh, the end of the presentation. So, I'm not talking not much about the history of how this parish was founded. Because, I, ang akong prepare is much more on the, the history of the title of Our Lady, the meaning, and the theological reflections of our founder, Bakit Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is a devotion to the heart of Jesus. Always remember na kapag mag-devotion tayo sa Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, this will lead us to the devotion of the heart of Jesus. So hindi pwede magkahiwalay ang Sacred Heart devotion at ang Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Dahil ang Our Lady of the Sacred Heart ay merong Sacred Heart. So, kaya ang devotion to Our Lady bringing us closer to the sacred heart. At ang sacred heart na iyan ay nasa kanyang kamay. At ang sacred heart na iyan, ang ina, ang pinakauna na misyonero ng banal na puso ni Jesus. Maraming salamat po. Dagang kayong salamat to Father Bernid for uh accepting our invitation to speak i think it's very uh it's uh how do you call this very significant that we have this talk actually on the day we're celebrating the feast day of saint bernard clairvaux who is a devote uh, devotee of the sacred heart of jesus malingaw gani ko kay daghan kay masaag sa our lady of the sacred heart may usla asa man ang our lady of the sacred heart mahal masaag dito sa sacred heart parihara bitaw na no so okay ra Without Father. Um, we are now ready for our Q&A. If anyone has a question for Father, uh, please just approach the mic.
Good evening, Father. I was 10 years old when this parish was established. And then I knew those priests that you mentioned from Father Van S, Father Eugene Van Vogt, Father. I wonder if Father, Father Makainan is still alive. Yes. And uh, the other one, <laughs> the other Filipino, the last one. Yes, he's also alive. Still alive. Yeah. Because the, our house used to be located there. And so if they have no time, um, if they had time, they used to come to our house. But I was thinking that the, that the missionary, that the devotion to the Lady of the Sacred Heart started in the Netherlands. Because most, all of the priests were from Netherlands. But I was surprised when you mentioned the history that it really came from France. So in that case, there were no missionaries from France, but the missionaries were coming from the other countries. Can you please uh, uh, trace from France to Netherlands? Thank you very much, Father. Okay. You're with Open, yeah. the MSC in Open. Open. You are with the Open Group MSC. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Father. So, salamat sa information. Salamat for sharing. Uh, um, ikaw pala yung living witness of the founding of the parish, no? Ito. Mula nung pagdating kasi nung sinabi ka niya sa umpisa, noong nakaraan sa France, merong anti-clericalism movement against the church, against the bishops, against the priests. So, there was a time, in the time of the revolution, the missionaries were expelled. Ang naiwan, ang, ang pinapaiwan lang doon ng mga, mga diocesan. As they were suspecting the missionaries, na ayaw na ng mga misyonero, ang unang, pina, ang unang pinalayas doon, Jesuits. Jesuits pinalayas. Ang, ang amin, kami ay founded by a diocesan priest, Pero missionary congregation, pinalayas din kami. Ayong aming founder ay hindi talaga umalis doon sa iso doon. Ang kanyang kumbento ay pinadlak ng mga authorities. Pinadlak ng mga authorities yung kumbento, yung simbahan, pinadlak. At kinaladkad palabas yung founder namin. So, ang ginawa nila, tumira sa isang bahay ng isang parokyano. At ngayon, kailangan na ilipat, kailangan ilipat yung mga missionaries. So kaya, from France, they go to Holland. They, got, they evacuated the missionaries and the seminarians to Telberg. Sa Telberg, doon yung onang seminaryo, doon outside France. Doon sila na nagiging nag-shelter at doon na rin nag-establish ng communities. At from France... Dahil there was an abundance of vocation in Netherlands by the time. So, nung in ng mga Benedictines, ang Surigao Mission, nagpadala ng eight missionaries from Netherlands to the Philippines. Kaya from France, after the expulsion, ang unang shelter, yung Netherlands. Kaya from Netherlands, they bring along with them the devotion to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. And when the Dutch men, the Dutch MSCs came to the Philippines, they also brought with them the devotion to Our Lady. Kaya, waling sa Netherlands yung alam natin na ang devotion nag doon. But the devotion started from France by our own founder, Father Joel Chevalier, a diocesan priest. Okay? Ano po? It was the religious revolution in France. It was the time of Napoleon Bonaparte and Robespierre and the Christianization. When the priests and the nuns were killed, so many of them. The question is, from the Netherlands, when did he come back to France? 
from the Netherlands because they went to the Netherlands to escape from the persecution. When did they come back to France to Isidon? Ang aming founder did not really leave France. Na natili talaga sa doon sa France and then with the help of the parishioners, the good parishioners there, yung kumbento niya na pinadlak ng mga mga authorities by the rebellion by the time ay binili ng isang parokyano at dinonit uli doon sa kanya. Kaya he occupy again the same house at doon meron pa rin yung pagkatapos ng, ng ilang taon may mga missionaries pa rin na pumupunta doon sa, sa France. Kasi yung founder namin ay hindi talaga sa umalis. And there was even a time na there was a great, parang malaking usapin sa congregation dahil noong una para hindi siya mapatalsik sa, sa, sa France dahil ang mga religious ang pinapaalis eh, pinapaalis sa mga religious. Upang hindi siya mapaalis sa France, there was a time na bumalik siya sa diocese ng boards. Naging diocese siya uli upang hindi siya palalayasin outside France. Kaya nanatili talaga doon. Then after there was a time na medyo okay-okay na ang sitwasyon, then he continued to be, to be the superior general. Kaya, pero nagiging controversial siya kasi sa religious life, kapag bumalik ka sa, sa diocese, parang disconnected ka na sa ano. Pero by the time, paano, eh, hindi ko alam kung paano nila niresolve ba, Upang hindi mapaalis ang buong misyonero doon, ang aming founder, it was by the, by the suggestion of the Archbishop also, to return to the diocese as if you return to us para hindi ka mapaalis. So, yun ang nangyari doon. Kaya hindi lahat ng mga misyonero na nandoon. Ang ibang ang mga other fathers, they're scattered to Netherlands, to America, to other countries outside France pero yung founder namin ay nanatili doon sa France then nung panahon na medyo okay okay na then the missionaries they returned to the so called the home the home of their foundation so until now nandoon doon pa rin pero doon ngayon sa France medyo mga overly senior na wala na masyadong mga bata ang mga nagmanage na lang ngayon sa Basilica uh, sa shrine at saka sa hotel na para sa mga pilgrims ay yung mga Indians yung taga Asia na mga pari may mga dots pa rin pero mga 84 86, may mga ganun na ano so, so hopefully because of secularization siguro banda doon, wala na masyadong pumapasok Pero at this time, ang Pilipino naman, ang Asia naman ang nagpapadala ng mga misyonero papunta doon. So, yes. Good evening, Father. So you're saying that your congregation, the charism of your congregation is to set up a parish? Parang ganon? Is, it, that's, is that it? Ang sa, sa congregation charism and spirituality, ang, ang charism is compassion and the spirituality is living the sentiments of the heart of Jesus. Ang pinaka-purpose why MSC is established or instituted by our founder is mission. A to mission. go to mission. And part of mission is building communities. Parish. That is why when the Dutch missionaries came to the Philippines, they also built parishes. Pero ito yung sabi ng aming mga Dutch missionaries. Yung mga parokya ang ating itinatag. We don't stay forever in yes. our parish. We have to go and move forward because we are missionaries. So that so, leads to my next question. So all the parishes that you founded, uh, your congregation, they are all turned over now to the diocese. Dahan-dahan, well, usually many of our parishes have been turned over. Uh, uh, for example, in Mindanao, the whole of Caraga, after the Caraga region, after the Benedictine left, after the Jesuits left Agusan, 
The two provinces of Agusan and two provinces of Surigao belong to the care of the MSC. Then, when we ah. entered in 1935 in Agusan and 1908 in Surigao, only very few parishes were established. So, nung pagpasok, we established schools, we established also parishes and other communities. So, after nung... Because ang, ang congregation in, in Mindanao, while working there, the MSC is among of the among the congregations who recruited first seminarians to become the UC Sons. Mm. So we established the St. Peter College Seminary in Butuan City for the whole Ikaraga region. Nung hindi isa pa lang diocese noon, hindi pa apat, oh, hindi pa tatlo. Tapos, we, we sent to this seminary those recruited for the UC San way of life. Oh, okay. So, kaya nung dumami na ang mga diocesans na pwede nang mag-handle ng parishes sa Agusan at Surigao, we turned over many of our parishes nga established ng missionaries. Before. Does it also say turning over some of your priests to the diocese? Uh, not the priests, but the, the, just the... Kasi the, just... Una, some are recruited for MSC, some okay. are recruited to, and prepared to become diocesan okay. in Agusan. Okay. So, kaya... Sila ngayon, marami silang mga ano na marami ng mga diocesan. So we turn over a lot of our parish, even schools, we turn over. So you're still doing that now. I mean, you know, setting up uh, parishes and then turning over. You're still doing that. Now. Yeah, we we turn over and we also go to another place and establish okay, a new establish community. Now. Okay, thank yeah. you, Father. Mm -hmm. Recently in Cebu, we turned over two. Ang Pahak at saka ang Maktan uh, Parishes uh, dito. Kay parang uh, we can also proceed to another. Kay for example in the island of Camotes there is another new nga parokya that we established. The bishop erected that. So we have to turn over some parishes in order for personnel to be vacant para makaadto sa lain na pud nga area to build communities. Kaya ingon pa sa among mga predecessors ng mga Dutch boys, di man yuta forever din he. Missionary man ta, so mulakaw yuta, muprosit yuta dito. We establish and after a while, we turn this over to our counterparts uh, atong mga kaobanan sa diocese to take care. Kay every parish na i-establish ng misyonero, hindi pag-aari ng misyonero. Pag-aari ng diocese. Kahit na kami, alba, we established a parish in Marigondon. That belongs to the diocese. Hindi po iyan sa amin. We are only laborers, caretakers, and co-helpers of the diocese to take care of the people of God in that particular area. Kaya, we have to move on. Katulad sa inyo, after ilang taon ba? 1963 to 1979. After a few years, okay, and we are happy na hanggang ngayon, uy, ala first time ito na ako magkasold sa inyong simbahan. <laughs> Nasayan kong si Bob Sugod na uh, 2013, karun po kakasold sa Our Lady of the Sacred Hearts. It's a beautiful church. <laughs> na paron inyong mission, inyong, your, uh, kanang, sa nga nanoy? Eskwelahan ba sa pari na pa na paron? Because you you sold it to Don Bosco your seminary in Talisay, but you you have no more seminary in Cebu. Sa Cebu ang aming formation house before we had the Talisay the Don Bosco mm -hmm. kana siya. Then kana pong kang bishop kamumot ng mga madre karon sa Valladolid. That was also MSC property. Uh, formation house pa rin na sa noon sa una sa uh, MSC. Then, we transfer to Angeles. Then, we transfer to Banawa. Then, ah, from Banawa, we transfer back to Manila, our college seminary. And then, after five years in Manila, we transfer now in Surigao, our college seminary. Ah, so but na. our theological seminary is still in Manila. One more, oh, just sige. out of curiosity, ba? Because the the biggest church that you established in Open is Berhen Sarigla. 
Although the icon is the same, we have the Virgin Mary holding Jesus. I'm just wondering why you did not call it Ma Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Instead, it is a Virgin Saregla. Thank you. Ang Virgin Saregla nagpuna pagyudlas amua <laughs> na ano na siyang daan kay 400 plus naman siguro ang piyesta dito sa Paris. Ano siya? 400 plus. So, uh, 400 plus, 200 plus. Nga na. Ang Virgin Saregla because it is already established as Virgin Saregla pagkaparokya niya, uh, we cannot change the name. Now, we cannot change the name kay Daghana in town masuko po. <laughs> Kana mo na nga, unya kini ra bang kini nga Our Lady of the Sacred Heart kay di man ni para sa uban nga devotion bitaw sa birhen nga publicly and well known. Kini ato, it's always attached to the congregation kay ang congregation grateful ani niya nga mahal na birhen gipanganlan og Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Kana siyang ko ana. Yes, Father. Father, does your congregation have a, a venerable, a blessed, or a canonized saint already? Uh, uh, do you have a canonized saint, a venerable, or a blessed? Sa amin, mga, mga members ng congregation, meron ng mga na-canonized nga saints. Ito mga, the martyrs that we have, the, for example, the martyrs in Spain, and other parts of the world, they were already canonized by by this present Pope, Pope Francis. But our founder, not yet. We are still praying for uh, the first stage pa siya, as a servant of God pa siya na level. We are praying also uh, for him to be raised to the uh, glory of the altar. Okay. For na, na ay mga nahimong saints, pero dili good ang kanang founder, ang naguna ang mga members, because they were martyrs, so marag, mas dali mahimong saint ang katong mga martyrs, because only one miracle is needed. Ayong gabi sa tanan. Kamoy nagsugod ining parokya pa rin, no? Ining simbahan. Kisa may tag-iya sa yuta. Gidunit o gipalit ba ning yuta, ha? O niya. Uh, kaduha, naman ko kayo nadungog nga kining kining kuan, kining lugar, ha? Kapilya mang kuno ni sa San Martin. O niya na change into Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Tinuod na pa rin, no? Ang sa may ikon. <laughs> Actually, sa pagkatukod sa parokya, wak pa mang kumataw. <laughs> 1963 man mo, no? Nataw mang ko, 1972, niya. Ang wak yun ko, kas, wak yun ko naka, nakatuki-tuki bitaw yun sa kanang history behind the establishment of the parish here. Kana siya nga kuan. Uh, di ko katubag anak pas basi na ay record sa mo sa mong archives basi si ate kay murag taga din him ang Julius ate I had a chance to talk to the owner of the land mga singko ang tag iya father so mga cousins na sila sa tag iya ng hotel sa atbang so this whole block of land murag, mga parintira ang tag iya ba but this area for sale Gibaligya gini sa tagiya. So, barato pa man ang yuta sa unang panahon. In fact, we were offered nga palit mi og kanang ani ba, gamay lang. But since land was not was not very valuable at that time, so we didn't. And then I learned nga gipalit ni gikan sa mga singko. Og anak sa tagiya, I was able to know him because he was an architect. So, nakaila ko. And then there was no chapel here during that time. The chapel that they were claiming was a chapel somewhere there. Um, kanang ibabaw, doon sa ilang, yeah, ibabaw. So there was a chapel there. So the the original church started started at the chapel, but not here. There, kato sa ibabaw. 
And then, kan nga lugar was uma, di uma na mo sa akong papa. So wala yun ni, parang gini ang mga tam nagtubo, mais, any crops. But the last crop that was uh, planted here were gladiolas, uh, blooming gladiolas already when the gladiolas were bulldozed. So wala chapel diri. Thank you. So thank you ka ayote sa dugang information nga kini bakanti nga yuta gi uma kani adto maybe this place belongs to a jurisdiction of a chapel be sa una pero wala diri ang chapel dito sa dapit sana ay bukid-bukid diha sa una pa dito ang chapel San Martin de Porres ang patron dito nga chapel o wa naka nakadumdum usa nga patron It was not really called San Martin, but it was a chapel that will soon be the Lady of the Sacred Heart Church. Ah, dito, dito. We thought, in fact, nga ato ang simbahan na tutukuron. Oh. Kaya dito man naguna ang chapel. But hmm. uh, I, I realized nga katong lugar, Pietra ba? Gamayra. Gamayra. So since this land was available for sale, manan din ay nabalhin. Pero I didn't hear about the chapel hmm. called Martin de Porres. Ah, okay. Basta kaya, ang akong hibauan, mga... Eight, nine naman ko ato, eskwela naman ko, mm. nga mauna ang tukuran o simbahan ng Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Mm. Okay, salamat. Kaya dito sa una, dito ang tana ang site for the parish, pero the space is uh, smaller than a parish, uh, a parish need. So, dito gikan ang kapilya nga supposed to be may mong parokya, pero gitransfer diri kay nakapalit o dako-dako ng yuta. Thank you very much, Father Bernides, for answering all our queries. Um, before we leave, actually, before we finish, we actually have a sort of a request for you, Father, and this is like a um, maybe something that will really help us grow because we need to know our history also. So if we, you can cater to our request, Father, we'll leave you this uh, request. Yeah. Um, but maybe uh, just for the takeaway, no? Um, you mentioned about how important the confraternity is actually in establishing and, and in developing a parish. And I think uh, we have our very own confraternity here. And uh, maybe our confraternity can also take the lead in uh, finding out more about our parish. You know? So um, that being said also, Father, we were also very curious about why the Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is called the hope of the hopeless and you actually answered that uh, in your talk and I think it's something that we as parishioners are um, more heartened because we have also uh, a mother uh, someone uh, our lady of the sacred heart whom we can actually approach in this time in this very difficult time in this most challenging time of our lives so um, thank you for, for reminding us, for telling us about that story of how she became the hope of the hopeless father. And with that, I'd like to call our um, moderator for our team of pastors to thank uh, our speaker tonight, Father Bernids, and to close our talk. And uh, after that, we will request also Father John Joe Naorat to also give the final blessing to close our talk. Um, before Father John actually closes, Maybe we remind uh, everyone who are here and also watching our live streaming that our uh, Mass, our founding anniversary Mass, uh, to commemorate our, actually the founding of our parish is on August 22. That's a Sunday at 11 a.m. at the 11 a.m. Mass. So we hope to see or uh, some of our parishioners here, Kitan First Centraman and uh, jo uh, the other parishioners joining us on live stream on Sunday at 11 a.m. Thank you very much for coming, but Father John, Jonah Orat, our moderator. A big round of applause for him. Nalipay kay ko, Father, nga di aga karun diri. And for sharing your time with us. Your talk was very inspiring and enriching, and there were so many things that we did not know. Nya, sa akong nasabtan nga, Kaning among simbahan anak ni ninyo, kamoy among inahan. 
no, no, there should be a sort of bonding between us because there is so much that we do not know why we became like this. And then we find out that it is really because of you. Now, it may not be coincidental, it is providential, that today is the feast of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, who is a devotee to Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. He was the one who said, in times of difficulties, in times of danger, and in times of desperation, think of the Blessed Virgin. Call on the Blessed Virgin. Always have on your lips the Blessed Virgin and in your heart. That is Saint Bernard of Clairvaux. There are so many saints known for their devotion to the Sacred Heart. And now we come to know that the Blessed Virgin is the first devotee on and model of the devotion to the Sacred Heart. And we are so thankful for that. And assigned to Dinhe, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, why she is the hope of the hopeless. And then you answered it that when times are desperate and times are difficult and times are dangerous, we call on the Blessed Virgin. It is true. Because next to our Lord Jesus Christ, it is the Blessed Virgin. Ganahan kay ko, atong imong sharing nga heart to heart. Kaya wag kasing-kasing to kasing-kasing. They speak through their hearts. They know each other so much. Muna nga, dili ma matukim ang akong pagkamapasalamatun ka ron. Tinudan na yung apakasulti. Because it is the grace of God Now you are here and you are from an MEC. Huh? You are original. Dili ka imported now. But you know what you are talking about because it is about you. And it is also about us because we are here because of you. And I thank you so much and I thank you for coming over here and sharing history with us about your congregation about our, your mission mission yeah and about maybe the 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 way we can promote also vocations to the missionaries of the sacred heart because as i understand even now france do not have so much vocations and that is a result of the persecution that happened to them so many churches were lost maybe in the in certain places there were 60 churches what remains is only three catholic churches all the others are not anymore uh, they are only tourist attractions and we hope and we pray that with the blessed virgin mary we will grow as a parish and with you helping us in our prayers and our devotion to the sacred, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we will make this parish grow and the parishes of the Archdiocese of Cebu. What's that your role? Ending the call? Oh, we end now with so much gratitude in our hearts. Thanking you who are there, looking at us, live streaming. Thanking all the rest who are here also, listening to the talk and the sharing in person. We continue. And I thank also so much our lectors and cantors, our devotees of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Because they are the ones who are spearheading these, these activities. And we will have more. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Congratulations to all those. Thank you. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you.
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our activity is over. Let us go home and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Pagpaka natin ginawa. Picture ko na.